That shot hit the opponent exactly in the right spot. What accuracy. Impact and then some. Oh yeah, here's Aleister Black. Just making his presence felt there. And the strike connects. He's lining him up. He'd be smart to stay put there. He's not looking like himself here. This is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional approach tonight, which includes spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That might help him in the long run. We'll see. Nice job by Johnny Gargano there. Oh, yeah, here's Aleister Black. Made him pay there. Connects with an E drop. Bringing it back into the ring. Alistair Black with some good timing here. He is a one-man gang in there. Nice move. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. Things definitely aren't looking very good for him right now. Wise move going for the stretch. Here's his chance. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Takes him down in a major way, too. Big miss for him there. And he'll likely pay for it here. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. And he comes crashing down. He could do it here. A kick out at two and a half. Might have slipped there, Cole. One of the most effective drop kicks you'll ever see. He's not looking good here. We're all going to find out what he's made of here in this triple threat match. You'd have to think he came into this triple threat match with a plan. And I think it's safe to say that that plan has gone awry. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this. And what I've learned so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no quit in him. Here we go. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Oh boy, he is rolling. Not so fast. Still trying to get back to his feet here. Down! This might be it, guys. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Inside the ring now. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. And Alistair Black makes him pay. Saw that one coming. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. A move like that is completely unnecessary. Unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. Ain't no stopping him now. He's 
resilient, but he may not be doing himself any long-term favors by staying. He may get the three count right there. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Wow, I am impressed. Mr. Black setting it up. He's not looking good here, but it's just a matter of time now. Here's his moment, Michael. Here he goes for the win. One, two, three. The pinball and the victory. Here is your winner, Alistair Black. Decisive victory here in this triple threat match. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. We have Fatal 4-Way action coming up next. And the first superstar to get a pinfall or submission is going to be our winner. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Cassius Ono. The knockout artist, Cassius Ono, making his way to the ring. Folks, you're looking at a guy who simply will not have his dreams dashed. And on top of that, this match will undoubtedly have a big impact on where these guys stand in the next WWE.com power rankings. And there's been so much upward movement from new faces over the past few weeks that dropping more than 10 spots following a loss isn't necessarily out of the question. From Dresden, Germany, weighing in at 245 pounds, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Alexander Wolf. And here comes Alexander Wolf. This dude scares me, Cole. I don't say that about a lot of people, but Alexander Wolf definitely has that element of fright to him. What about you, Byron? He obviously looks good physically, but do you think he's mentally prepared for tonight's match? If he's not, we're going to find out very early on. Guys have a way of smelling intimidation and taking advantage of it. If your head's not at 100%, you're in big trouble. 
It's that simple. From Denver, Colorado, weighing in at 303 pounds, Lars Sullivan. Fatal four-way action coming up in Byron. What should we look out for in this one? This is one of those matches, Michael, where anything can happen, and it usually does. The only thing I know for sure is that the referee will have his hands full in this one. And the good news is that he appears to be coming into tonight with a little extra motivation. Yeah, and he's really had a chip on his shoulder as of late, and it seems to have been helping him. From Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. They call him the Messiah of the Backbreaker. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Roderick Strong. Somehow, Michael, he seemingly comes up with a new backbreaker every time we see him. And Byron, I'd say he appears to be at the top of his game right now. Well, he's going to need to be if he wants to survive this match, that's for sure. And guys, we're ready to get this match started. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Drop kick delivered with precision. Look, Cassis Ono is on the attack now. There he goes, crashing to the floor. drop lands. What's your take on what Lars Sullivan has been going through? For those that haven't seen much of him, what can we expect tactic-wise from him tonight? It's important to pay attention to what's happening in the ring right now. With this amount of time left in the match, anything can happen. Well, in the WWE, nobody cares about how close you came to greatness just if you got there. We'll see if he has what it takes tonight. Alexander Wolf got him there. Lars Sullivan feeling some pressure here. Making matters worse, she's got not one, but three guys looking to destroy him here tonight. 
starting to show signs of fatigue. In four-way matches such as this, things could get very ugly for him very quickly. And I guarantee you the other three guys see the predicament he's in and are thinking of ways to capitalize on him. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. On a game-changing powerbomb. Unleashing it for the second time now. Alexander Wolf was just a step behind there, guys. No, he reverses it. That's what happens when you're in a powerful grasp. You go down. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big time damage, Michael. And he gets him with a counter. Not going to win many matches with that move. He hits a huge elbow drop. He's on the defensive now. The four-way match is clearly getting the better of him here. Looks to me like he's on Dream Street right now, fellas. That's not a place you want to be when you're in the ring with these three guys. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like... Can he do it here? And Lars Sullivan pops the shoulder up. Just needs to do more damage. Big miss for him there. And he'll likely pay for it here. He is a one-man gang in there. Showing an aggressive side here. He might have it. Alexander Wolf got him there. Oh, man! Ouch. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, no. Boom! Buenas noches. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. That has to feel good, especially considering how heated this rivalry's become. Oh, Death Valley driver. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Someone's going to be black and blue tomorrow. Lars Sullivan nailed it. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. Roderick Strong's offense. Quick pen attempt here. One and an easy kick out. Clearly not enough damage done. Check out Roderick Strong's offense. He gets it with a reversal. Alexander Wolf got him there. The unfortunate reality is he might not get up, which wouldn't shock me one bit. Talk about a beating he's taken here tonight. Oh boy, he is rolling. No, there's the reversal. Incoming! He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. Ain't no stopping him now. Use the ropes to launch the senton there. Yeah, he's only the back face buster. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He's got some more fight in him, guys. He's playing with him now. Oh, man, what a kick. To think, I almost rode him off earlier. Just making his presence felt there. This could do it. One, two, an impressive fatal four-way win.
Here is your winner, Roderick Strong. And there's your winner via pinfall. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. It's Hideo Itami taking on some tough competition. You don't want to miss it. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 180 pounds, Hideo Itami. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. Though I'd say he definitely has his work cut out for him here tonight. Yeah, this one's not going to be easy, that's for sure. But hey, is anything worth doing ever easy? making his way to the ring as only he can do. He's got some moves, doesn't he, Michael? Well, he definitely looks fired up for this one, wouldn't you say, Corey? Yeah, he's definitely ready to get this one underway, Cole. He's not the only one. Would you listen to this crowd? Wow. And here is Hideo Itami, folks, the man from Tokyo, looking to cause more damage. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. And it's worth noting that we are just a few miles from the WWE Performance Center, which means there are plenty of WWE hopefuls in the back studying this one. Oh, yeah, here's Hideo Itami. Damage inflicted with a snapmare. Can't wake up from that one. Oh, yeah, here's No Way Jose. At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. Taking away his vertical base. Gets him good with the fist. Made him pay there. Fist 
vicious neck breaker. Hideo Itami showing us how to get it done. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. Second time's a charm. And Hideo Itami reverses it. He wants no part of the outside. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Starting to stumble here. With these two guys, we all knew his shoulders are down. Oh man, I thought he had him. Still a lot more fight left. A move like that is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Here he goes. Ooh, the big right hand. What's he going to do now? Hoping to end it here. No, got the shoulder up at the very last moment. And the match continues. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. He delivers a hard clothesline. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Slam. There is no way a Tommy comes back from that. Ah, oh, that was close, so close. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. He's still not moving, guys. He might be out, Cole. He's really taking over this match now. The frequency of this move is becoming deliberate at this point, to say the least. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. This could be it for him, guys. Yeah, he's on Dream Street. He's looking at it. No! Oh, oh, oh that's going to leave a mark. Game, set, match. This one is over. You never want to be on the receiving end of one of those. He wants it one more time. Side slam by no way, Jose. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Wow, I thought this was over. Oh boy, he is rolling. And Hideo Itami reverses it. He's too quick for him there. Wow, missed by a mile. Had that one well scouted. Now that's striking with pinpoint accuracy. You can't take two hesitation drop kick by Hideo Itami. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Oh man, no way Jose really needs to dig down deep. He can do it here. Two. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over.
winner, Hideo Atami. You're looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. It'll be Drew McIntyre against an imposing adversary. The crowd is buzzing. Championship match on tap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. Of course, this match will have a heavy impact on where he sits in next week's rankings. And I'm not Nostradamus, but I see him winning this match in convincing fashion and shooting straight up to number two next week. Bobby Roode making his way to the ring now. In all his gloriousness, Cole. This is without a doubt a big time match for him, guys. I don't think he can afford to come up short in this one. I'd say that statement is more true now than ever before. That's how heated the competition here in WWE is right now.
Introducing the challenger from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the NXT champion, Bobby Roode. Looks like we're ready to kick this thing off. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are gonna have a match you'll wanna watch over and over again. And it's worth noting that we are just a few miles from the WWE Performance Center, which means there are plenty of WWE hopefuls in the back studying this one. That drops him in a hurry. Drew McIntyre got him there. Drew McIntyre got him there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah, oh, close to getting a count out here. Nah, this is just some strategic gamesmanship. One. This is exactly how Two. he drew this one up. He wants no part of the Three. outside. Drew McIntyre got him there. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Looking for a little breather here, maybe. Slowing things down, I like it. Good game plan. And there's the reversal from Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre sizing it up. The challenger is starting to slow down a bit here. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. Drew McIntyre made him pay there. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Just making his presence felt there. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. He goes for the quick pen attempt. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big time damage, Michael. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Oh, what a DDT! Wow, the damage has been done. Things just went from bad to worse. From this is unbelievable. The championship changes hands.
and the new NXT Champion, Drew McIntyre. Nice job by the champ defending the gold here tonight. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. I'd like to think we just saw one of the greatest title matches in a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it, folks.